Well, hello, it's great to meet you. You too. <laughs> congrats on uh, season four and congrats on uh, your your de your character's debut in season four. That's exciting. Thank you very much. Yeah, very exciting. It was a, a joy. It was an excellent show to be part of. Yeah, well, tell me more. Tell me how it felt to join this cast in this kind of like epic story that is already in progress. It felt nerve wracking, you know, let alone the fact that the, the writing is superb and intimidating in its own right. You know, mm -hmm. I walked onto a, a space station in Mars and, and I could hear the other actors doing a scene. And I was asked to be quiet. Can you wait here for the director? And I sat and I waited and that, you know, that alone, I was like, God, they're killing it. That scene's brilliant. So, you know, nerve wracking. They've already started shooting. They're already they're starting their fourth season and I'm coming in and, uh, you know, I have to make a place for myself. Um, but it was so welcoming. It was so kind, mm -hmm. so thoughtful from craft service, PAs, all the way up to the exec producers. It was it was thoughtful and all the actors were embracing and kind and, mm -hmm. and there to work. You know, and I'm a different kind of actor. They're all very measured and they have their lines and they're doing things and it's about the shot. And and I might sit there and be like, oh, so, uh, and they're like, what are you doing? You're doing movements. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so, you know, uh, you know, a renegade. Uh, I'm not a renegade, but I like to try. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's funny because it kind of describes uh, Miles, your character, too, right? I mean, this is a show that has largely been dealing with, you know, astronauts and scientists and engineers and, you know, business. Exa I mean, all of these kind of like high ranking people. And then you've got, people. sorry? <laughs> Intelligent people. Oh, well, I, <laughs> I wouldn't put it like that. But then you've got Miles, who's like the son of a of an oil rig worker, right? So it seems like he's kind of a like the odd man out there too. Like, what was what's that like to bring that character to life? You know, it was it was exciting because of that. There's now a shift. I mean, the the opening sequences of arrival for you know Chris's character and and myself to get to do that immediately with a, an actress I thought was brilliant for a character mm -hmm. that I loved and get to see those differences and just do that side by side. I mean, that was, there's so many great days, but that was such a fun day. And and, and the beauty of a production like that is they're like, we're well, sorry, we, you don't have lines today. I was like, guys, this is a dream come true. I walk around and, and sip coffee and it tastes bad. I mean, this is <laughs> the easiest day I'll ever have. So it was, it was just a joy, you know, and it was so smart and so thoughtful. Mm -hmm. uh, and it sets up for exactly what it is. It's a, it's a class system, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know that's a big part of the show is exploring these. Yeah, definitely. Um, well, so tell me a little bit more about like what it's like to, I kept, when I was like composing this question, I kept wanting to say, what was it like to film on Mars? But that sounds crazy when I say it like that. What was it like to, you know, to like kind of put yourself in the mindset of, okay, I'm this working class guy on it, but I'm on a different planet, you know? You know, to get into that mindset was actually incredibly easy. You've got these amazing set decorators, set builders on these mm -hmm. beautiful stages. And it was claustrophobic. It's as close. In mm -hmm. fact, I would say it's probably more claustrophobic being there than it kind of actually displays. It's still exciting when you watch it. You're like, oh, that's cool. That corridor's cool. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's stripping. Oh, what's he fixing over there? Mm -hmm. But eight, 10, 12 hours on set, we're all there. And you start to get this kind of stir crazy feeling. So going outside mm. was such a relief. And then I, 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 we were doing the scenes with the with the North Koreans, which was hilarious because I'd learned my lines. I was doing the scene, and then I come, and they're all speaking in Korean, which I had not learned. And I was like, "Wow, I didn't realize how much of a cue line I take." So when they started doing their Korean lines, I was like, "What is my next line?" <laughs> Can I remember what is so it was like a self internal monologue. It's why I play it with that loud shouting version. Anyway, when we all got to leave, because that was so into it was constant and it was face masks mm -hmm. and it was, you know, breathing mm -hmm. apparatus. When we got to go outside, we were all like, wow, I don't know if I could, I don't know if I could do it. The journey alone, I'm not sure I could do, but the the space, mm -hmm. space that they made, it and you know, I I, you know. I'm slightly deluded, but I feel like I've been to Mars. I mean, that's as accurate as it probably gets. It was so confined, so tight. You yeah. have to turn to get past people in the car, you know. Mm -hmm. So it was amazing, in short. 
Sorry for the yeah. long good reply. I mean, that's cool because I feel like that's an aspect of like space travel that doesn't quite get explored enough. Like just like you're in like a canister <laughs> with no right. air outside, you know? Yeah. So it's cool that the show is able to capture, like capture it so, so much that even the actors feel like it's real. You know, that's, yeah. that's very cool. It was excellent. It was excellent. And also a breath of fresh air on Mars means getting into a suit. It's mm -hmm. not, it's not, you know, it, it was brilliant. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just that we're almost out of time, but I'm just wondering, um, are there any like favorite moments that you had? Like any, any like particular moments where you thought like, oh my gosh, like this is, this is amazing that I get to do this. Yeah. I mean, you know, there was a lot of true real life build up to getting the suits. And I saw, you know, Joel mm. and, and everyone turning up in their, you know, those suits that are like shoulder pads and they I was like, man, those suits are cool. Cause you'd see, you bump into each other at craft service or, you know, going uh -huh. to make and they're ready and they're getting on their thing and they're off and you're like, oh, what scene are you shooting? Oh, so I was like, man, you know, I, we, I was talking with, you know, the, the actor who plays Ilya and I was like, you know, we, we, there's rumors. We might get to get in the suits and maybe do a thing. Mm. And I've heard an episode, you know, so when the blue suit came out, I was like, for real, I was like, wait a minute, but, um, so I'm not getting in that. And it had been made, you know, I had to use the one that Joel had used because Joel's so tall is the only one that actually fit your shot because it's pressing uh -huh. you down. It, you, just, you, you, <laughs> you look like you're doing this, but you're actually inside doing this to look out over the, yeah, a lot of work, but beautiful. Just, I mean, you know, I had a great time in it. They take such good care of you. You know, when you're in yeah. the suit, you kind of like coddled a little bit and I'm like, ah, oh, this is great. This is great. <laughs> That's great. That's good that they take care of you. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, uh, you know, Toby, thank you so much for talking with us today. And yeah, we can't wait to see the rest of the season. Thank you. Thank you very right. much. Have a great day. You too. Take care.